I'm Kate Atkinson and I play Vera Bennett on Wentworth and have done for eight seasons. Here are my top three moments slash stories regarding Vera Bennett over eight seasons of Wentworth. One of my favourite storylines for Vera has been the entire epic and uh, transformative journey that Vera has taken with Joan Ferguson. Governor's being governed is a dangerous job. From this rather mousy, oppressed, impressionable deputy governor to the woman who eventually overthrows her. The incredible transformation that that, that character had took, fueled by that relationship with Ferguson, just so stunningly portrayed by Pamela Rabe. So I love the storyline. I love how they gave me such challenges. So that story is still playing out, as we know. She basically rises from the dead and it takes a whole other twist and Vera goes to places that I'm still yet to imagine. But I've never been bored and I've just loved, loved, loved that storyline. The second storyline I've really loved and it plays into the, the Ferguson history and that vendetta and this ongoing obsession between the two of them is the storyline, we like to call ourselves the Three Amigos, but the storyline with Jake and Robbie and Vera. It's good to have a boss who's caring when she becomes, you know, involved in their, in their attempt to hide the fact that they, you know, buried her alive. And I really love it because it's a real, you know, psychological, there's kind of a psychological thriller element to it. And I, I think it was a unique storyline in Wentworth. There's, you know, beautiful stories of romance. There's some really epic violence. <laughs> Um, they're incredible friendships and loyalties. And that was just a different storyline. And, you know, you've got these three disparate characters, all very playable agendas, and we all have different allegiances to each other. So this little trio navigating that, that psychological territory, I really enjoyed. And I really enjoyed playing with Bernie and, and Robbie. And we really pressed each other's buttons and got some interesting work out of each other. And one of my third favourite, and this is not a storyline, I just wanted to give a funny anecdote because it also just... I just want to pay testament to the, all the people that tell the story. One of my favourite moments, and it might even be the very first sequence in season four, when Vera finally gets to sit in the governor's chair. This feeling of authority and, you know, she's kicked off the shackles of Fergus and her mother and she is, she is the lady in charge. And there's this great shot where Jackie Brennan, Linda's, Linda, comes to the door and says... They're here, Governor. The shot turns to Vera kind of spinning around in the governor's chair and looking incredibly, yeah, I'm ready for this. What you don't know is that my legs are so short that my feet don't touch the ground. So our beautiful props, standby props person, Paris, was under my chair spinning it for me. So I'm doing this incredibly, you know, child, like my legs are just flapping in the breeze. But the top half of me needs to look like I'm a lady who could run a prison. And there's the props guy, kind of turning the... That's how I became governor of Wentworth. So there you have it. Among eight years of filming this show, all the joys, the highs and lows of playing Vera, there's a handful. Um, but in the final season of this show, Wentworth, there are some surprises to come. So, yeah, stay tuned.